Welcome back everyone. Today we are doing The Flash and we're doing Season 1, Episode 23, the season finale of Season 1. And it's called Fast Enough. So we start off with Wells and Barry are talking. <laughs> Wells and Barry are talking. And then uh, give some why he did what he did. Give some of the reason why he did what he did. And he says that he, that Barry can go back in time and save his mother. And so um, he talks to Stein, and Stein advises caution. Um, and then he asks Joe, should I do it? And he says, you should definitely do it. Then so Barry talks to his dad, but he tells him not to do it. And then we have uh, Ronnie wants to marry Caitlin. And then we have Iris and Barry talk. And so Barry decides he's going to do it. But um, Wells advises him if he doesn't get fast enough, he will die. And then Wells needs a time machine to go back home. And then Cisco tells Wells about him killing him. Then Wells tells him he's a metahuman. And then Cisco literally storms off because he gets really mad at that. Then Stein encourages Eddie because Eddie feels like he's not important or anything. And Stein tells him, like, you're the most interesting person here. You're in charge of what kind of what happens because Wells is related to you. Then Stein warns them that there could be a singularity that could cause a global catastrophe. And Wells is like, well, yeah, if you don't come back within like a minute, 54 seconds, then there shouldn't be anything. So, um, so Barry only has a minute and 54 seconds to save his mom. Then Barry doesn't know what to do now. And then he views um, Joe as a dad. And then we have Iris and Betty talk about how they met and how Eddie wants to be with Iris now so they get back together. And then we have Ronnie and Keelan get married and Stein like officiates the wedding. So it's like a really touching moment there. Then Barry decides he's still going to do it. And so it's a really tearful goodbye. And so he's going through the speed force. And Wells is like, focus on the on the night that your mother died. And that's how you want to get there. But on the way there, he sees Killer Frost. He sees like a monument to him. And but he turns out he focuses his energy and it works. So he gets there and he's about to stop him. And then he sees the future flash tell him not to do it. So he doesn't do it. So the first flash kills Nora, his mother. Then Barry talks to her before she dies, and it's emotional as a F. And it's super emotional. My goodness. I was about to tear up myself. I was like, damn. And I've seen this at least, this is my third time seeing it, and it's still emotional. Then she says goodbye, and she dies. And then uh, we cut back to um, Wells is about to get on the ship. And there's a Rip Hunter mentioned in there. It's like, I don't think Rip, uh, Rip Hunter could have built a ship like this. And then a helmet pops out. And what's his best is cue to leave. And so he's about to leave. Then Barry comes back and breaks the machine. And shut down the wormhole. So the reverse flash and him fight. And Barry fight. And then Eddie resolves it by killing himself. Because reverse flash is like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill your family. I'm going to kill your friends. I'm going to kill everyone that you know. So Eddie uh, sacrifices himself, and since he's like a direct descendant, Wells is being removed from the time, from existence. And then a black hole, and so when that happens, the black hole forms, and then Barry tries to stop it. And that's the end of the episode. What? You're going to leave it a cliffhanger? I don't like cliffhangers at all. <clears throat> Crazy episode. I'm going to say plus or A because that, that cliffhanger man is crazy. Ugh, I hate cliffhangers so much. Especially for a season finale. you got to wait a whole freaking four months, three months, whatever months. you got to wait from, until like October to watch it again. Just find out what happens. Really? Anyway. That aside, very sad that Eddie died 
but he did it to save everyone, and that was super heroic. And then you get to for Flash go bye bye. It's really interesting how they got rid of him. Like, like the CGI was kind of cool. I kind of liked it. But anyway, um, everything about this episode was good. The emotions, the happy stuff, the sad stuff it was really, really, really neat. So I really liked it. So. Anyway, so if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below what you think of the finale. Do you agree or disagree with me about the cliffhanger? And then subscribe, because that helps out. So um, that's one do for me again, and I want y'all to have a super awesome day. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.